All right, Internet Anarchist, what we got? Videos, let's see the latest. Oh my god. Oh my god, it happened. The Internet Anarchist made a video about Dr. Disrespect's recent allegations. So, I don't know if you guys know, but basically, uh, there was a, a ex-Twitch employee. The, you know Dr. Disrespect, right? So the guy, there was an ex Twitch employee, and it was it's very recent. It's the whole it's the whole big spiel to this nowadays. But Dr. Disrespect was had allegations against him that he was accused of uh, sexting a minor uh, with a Twitch whisper system, which is like their messaging system that nobody uses. Um, and then recently. It came to light where he actually, Dr. Disrespect tweeted that it was true. Like he said, uh, yes, I talked to the minor. Something like that. I don't know exactly. I don't want to misquote. And he, yeah, he has a wife and kids. So he's like 38 or something. He's like 40. He's, he's pretty up there. And this minor was like 17, dude. Which is really fucking weird. Okay. But anyway, before, let's just, let's just watch the video. This is really, okay, so. How how Dr. Disrespect lost his entire audience in three days. Yeah, dude, this is insane. Oh my god, look. Look at how well this video is doing. It's two, two million views in four days. That's huge for Internet Anarchists. That's congratulations, dude. That's awesome. All right, let's check it out. All right, guys. So this is how Di Dr. Disrespect lost an entire audience in three days. Internet Anarchists, let's go. Dr. Disrespect is on the verge of one of the largest downfalls in creator history, going from being one of the most respected and popular streamers on the internet to being hated by everyone after admitting some awfully disturbing actions. He was talking yep. inappropriately with a minor. Where I truly believe this scumbag needs to be banned off of the platforms that he's on. I, I don't know who's really going to support him at this point. Like, who, what kind of person is going to watch Dr. Disrespect? If you watch him at this point, you just have to be coping, basically. Hi, I'm the internet. You know what's sad is that I I would never I was never like a fan of Dr. Disrespect. Like I wasn't a diehard fan and I wasn't even on Twitch at that point. But I actually enjoyed his content. I enjoyed past. I actually enjoyed his content from what I saw, like when it came into my recommended. I was like, oh, this guy's pretty funny. This guy's cool. And then this shit happened. I was like, what the fuck? It just like ruined the whole thing. I was very, I was actually pretty disappointed and upset when it happened. So it just sucks, man. Yeah, so he, he was basically, he basically messaged a minor. And we don't know what the messages were because it, it's, you know, there's a whole legal, legal stuff and you might don't want to expose the minor and, you know, all that. But yeah. Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today we'll be diving into the case of Dr. Disrespect, a once beloved streamer. Dude, I've never seen Internet Anarchist's real face. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him. And today we'll be diving into. This is what he looks like? All right. To the case of Dr. Disrespect, a once beloved streamer who is now being viewed as a unfaithful predator. But to fully understand the current situation, we first have to go back to where it all started. In June of 2020, Dr. Disrespect, who yep. was the face of Twitch at the time, was permanently banned from the platform. The suddenness of the high profile banning, coupled with the silence from both Dr. Disrespect and Twitch on the matter, would turn the ban into one of the most infamous and mysterious bans in Twitch history and spark several conspiracy theories. This wouldn't to be helped by his final moments on stream yeah that was really weird like i remember that like i remember that clearly because i was there when it happened and it was just like all of a sudden he's banned off twitch and nobody knew the the reason and it's been four years and we finally hear about the reason so for four years everybody was like oh let's get this guy back on twitch man this guy's awesome how could they do this well it turns out he was a fucking predator Appearing like he found out something extremely bad was about to happen. We'll, we'll get we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, yeah, I know it's a tough. T that's, life's weird right now. I we'll get through this, okay? And uh, fuck. <laughs> this strange behavior would leave viewers to leave comments such as, "Whatever's coming, it ain't gonna be a small matter." That yeah. really gets into near the end. I'm scared. 
as well as 242. I kind of wanted to get off and now I don't want to get off. He realized it would be his last stream ever, so he said that. Despite these comments, no one could have been prepared for the real reason he was actually banned. In August of 2020, Doc would return to streaming, but this mm. time on YouTube. His first stream on the platform attracted a massive audience, and he seemingly came back stronger than ever, going on to claim that he had no idea why he was even banned in the first place. Why did you get banned? Guess what? I want you to look me in my fucking eyes when I say this. We still have no idea. Over the f I did not- I've never seen this stream. I did not know he said that. What a fucking lie. He just lied to probably hundreds of thousands of people watching the stream right in their fucking face. Sometimes I wish people like you know were real from Death Note. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude. He just said, like, we have no idea why I got banned, but we're going to get back, baby. What a fucking terrible thing to say. I'm actually getting mad watching this video, bro. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Have no idea. Over the following four years, his ban would remain a mystery, and he would grow his YouTube channel to over 4.7 million Jesus. subscribers and continue to be one of the most popular streamers on the internet. But this would all completely change in 2024. On the 22nd of June, Cody Connors, an ex Twitch employee, would make a tweet That's that would the mark guy. the beginning of the end for Dr. Disrespect. The tweet read He got banned because he got caught texting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers at B could read in plain text case closed gang the so honestly i don't um i generally don't care what happens to him at this point yeah i know dude this is actually like bad the thing the thing that we don't know and it makes it even weirder that he won't say maybe it's because of legal reasons but we don't know for sure and this might be out of outdated knowledge like it, it could just like it's a recent it's happening now the whole thing we don't know if he actually knew that this person was a minor at the time but the way but the way that he wrote the tweet made it sound like he did but that changes it that that makes a big difference if he knew or didn't know that it was a minor at the time but i'm pretty sure it's like a 99 percent chance that he did know you're 29 i'm 27 by the way yeah so that was just weird man tweet was making big claims with little to no evidence to back them up and the reaction from mm -hmm. the internet would be extremely mixed with some jumping to the conclusion that he's a creep despite the lack of evidence and others waiting to hear more about the situation or calling cody an unreliable source of information with comments reading hey doc i heard you like him young we need sources oh, Jesus. and more information like who as well as source just trust me bro while cody's tweet didn't explicitly you can't dude these twitter people are idiots you can't just ask them. You can't. What do they think? Do they think they're just gonna when they say who? Do they think they're just gonna expose the the miner's name out of nowhere? No. What the fuck? What is wrong with Twitter, man? The cesspool. Explicitly mentioned Dr. Disrespect, Jake Lucky's repost would result in a response from Doc that would ultimately make the situation so much worse. Jake, seriously, I get it, it's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. The tweet would garner significant criticism for the strange and concerning use of vague and illegalese language, leaving readers wondering why Doc said no wrongdoing was acknowledged instead of just denying the career ending allegations. Yeah, why wouldn't he just say, um, Instead of no wrongdoing was acknowledged, why didn't he just say, no, I did not message a minor? Fail not tell, yeah. How would they tell if someone mentioned them in a minor invest? Uh, wait, what? How would they tell if someone mentioned them in a minor investigation? Uh, well, they, I mean, I, I, th I think I might be understanding your question wrong, but they have ways to tell. Like Twitch knows exactly like what there's a person on Twitch that reads all the whispers that moderates it, but we don't know. They just don't publicize it. 
Following the significant backlash, Doc would make another response on the situation, adding a bit more context, stating, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the f***ing internet. I didn't do anything wrong, and all of this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. And I was paid. It still pains me to read this. I know he meant he, he admitted it later in a tweet, but he just looks so fucking mad by saying this. <laughs> he Jesus Christ. Messaging a minor. Oh, there's nothing illegal about that. What? So first of all, dude, let's just think about this for a second. He's 40. They're like set or what was that like four years ago? So okay, see so 36 and they're 17. That's weird. And illegal. First of all, it's illegal and fucking weird. Even if he was like. Yeah, he's 40 now, but it was probably 36 at the time, but still. Weird. Okay, even if it, dude. Even if he's 9, 18 and they're 17, that's still illegal. Like, if you, you know, inappropriately message a minor, it's still bad. It's still technically illegal. Hey, while this tweet was better than the first, it still had strange language, like no wrongdoing was found. Yeah, and weird. That he was quote. Paid. It was weird Ultimately, how he wrote it. The tweet would result in an even more polarizing response from the community, with large figures such as the Axe Man coming to his defense, stating, "Degenerate troglodyte losers are trying to slander him with serious accusations that could destroy his entire career, while providing literally zero proof." Okay, a this is probably written before he actually admitted it. Just probably just a thing to note there. Other words, some pussies have a vendetta slash grudge against him and want to damage his reputation as much as possible. And others critiquing his the use of man. vague language against such serious allegations. Bro, why won't you say I was not talking to a minor trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon like what was alleged? But things yeah, were exactly. about to get much, much worse. Why didn't you just worse. say that? Oh, On the yeah. 24th of June, while Stock was streaming Elden Ring, a game company he co-founded would make a tweet that would change everything. Reading, on Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders, Guy Beam, aka Dr. Disrespect. We assumed his innocence I didn't and know his real name the parties now. involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with Guy Beam immediately. While these facts mm, are sense, difficult yeah. to hear and even more difficult to accept, it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved, especially the 55 developers and families families we've employed, along with our community of players. The tweet went live while Stock was streaming, and viewers claim this is the exact moment he saw the post. Mm. You know how you run things? Here. Dude. <laughs> it's, dude, that is actually, like, like, perfect. When he reads the tweet and realizes what happened, and then the scattered tree atlas or the music that da -da 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 starts playing. It's like biblical, dude. Yeah, you can see his face change. Like, that is not a good... He f changes faces a lot, like when he fights like a boss or whatever, and he realizes he's not going to win. But this is a different kind of face change. This is like, oh, fuck, I'm screwed face change. <laughs> Let's just watch that. That was hilarious. <laughs> Realizing setting in. Yep. Realization Towards setting in. Towards the end of the stream, Doc seemingly came to terms with reality and what was mm. awaiting him in the near future. I think I, when I say step away, I think either have to relate this to the midnight society, but I, you know, maybe I step away from there too. Just completely remove myself from the scene. That's what I need to do. 
The following day, on the 26th of June 2024, Dr. Disrespect would post a tweet that would not only possibly end his career, but to completely confirm the oh, reason here it comes, he was guys. from Twitch. Here it comes. With his response reading, the Twitch ban. Hello, I'd like to make a quick statement. I've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that I can be upfront about, and I'm always willing to accept responsibility, which is why I'm here now. First and foremost, I do want to apologize to everyone in my community, as well as those close to me, my team, and everyone at Midnight society game studio a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with midnight society and i and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families and i'd never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted everyone has been wanting to know why i was banned from twitch but for reasons outside my control i wasn't allowed to say anything for the last several years now that two former twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is the confession. Let me rephrase this. Yes, I did exchange Twitch whispers, Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017. There's the confession. <clears throat> yeah, it's bullshit, bro. Not not the fact that he's being al al accused is not bullshit. Though he he is bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You know, he he's thirty seven and talking to a minor while he has kids and is married. It's stupid. He's not arrested yet. I don't know, man. He might. He might be arrested. He should be, probably. I, it's not for me to say. It's for the law. It's for the law to decide. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual. Okay, that's a mistake. He should not have said that. Were the real intentions behind this message? The answer is not. You can't say that mutual conversations that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate but nothing more nothing illegal happened no pictures were shared no crimes were committed i never even met the individual i went through a lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute with twitch and that case was resolved by a settlement let me be clear it was not a criminal case against me and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me now from a moral standpoint i'll absolutely take responsibility i should have never entertained these conversations to begin with with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. And there it is. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown. All away. right. So this is where I went haywire. He should he should not have written this paragraph, and not a, he should have stopped right there so loosely social media is a destruction zone i'm no predator or pdf file are you kidding me i'm not even gonna say anything anyone that truly knows me knows where i stand on those things with those types of people f that that's a different level of disgust that i hate even hearing about don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations get the f out of here <laughs> have you ever seen the show to catch a predator with chris hansen it's literally how these things start. They message on an ALL chat or whatever the fuck. And they're like, oh, but I never had really any real intention. When the interview happens with the with the pedophile predator and and uh, and what's his name? Chris Hansen. They always say, oh, but I was never really going to do that. I wasn't going to do those things I said. He's saying the exact same thing. Yeah, you should check it out. Uh, Chris Hansen's To Catch a Predator. It's old show. You have to look up old videos on YouTube. Here with that <coughs> shit. But I think I've said what I needed to. Cinnamon Toast Ken is a YouTuber who often uh, reacts to his videos. So you should check him out. Say regarding the ban itself, 
That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all these years. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the best community and circle. If any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but just know you have always been greatly appreciated. But trust me when I say this, to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give an F about you. Jeez. Finally, if you're uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not effing going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extent. He says like all those years ago, like it was like 50 years ago. It was literally four years ago. Not even. 2020, bro. Ended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream. And I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear. Yeah, right. Following the response, Doc would continue to edit the tweet, removing the word minor and then adding it back in due to backlash, with a reply stating, he edited out minor, got caught on it, and then edited it back in. Okay, Quite this is okay, this is bad. I remember this. Um, is he from the US? Yeah, he's from the yeah, he's from the US. Yep. Alright, dude. This was bad. Because Wait, Hold on, let me just go to the it. Word minor and then adding it back in due to backlash with the So he edited out the word minor and call and got called on it because in Twitter you can see people it's public for people to see the edit history of a tweet. So if he says like minor and then he deletes it and says purse individual, which I believe is what he's changed it to, then people will be able to see the edit history. That's fucking stupid, yes. I agree. And what's even worse is they changed it back to minor thing and after it was minor than individual than minor and he thought that he would get away with it. It's fucking ridiculous. That was a bad move. He should not have done that. I stating he edited out minor got caught on it and then edited it back in. Quite the apology when you're still trying to skirt responsibility. As expected, the tweet would go incredibly viral, yep. gaining over 60 million views it within was very just viral. 12 hours, leading users to dig even deeper into his history, with user Chrissy digging up a clip of Doc allegedly <clears throat> admitting to cheating on his wife I didn't at the know 2017 this. TwitchCon, which also happens to be the same year he was allegedly messaging the minor to find out what she was doing at the convention. As you guys know, I have a, a beautiful family and a wife and kid, and... <laughs> Um, I want to be transparent that I've been unfaithful and the response I didn't know from that. the YouTube community was brutal to say the least, with creators such as Penguin Zero, some ordinary gamers, oh, yeah. and Coffeezilla all making videos on the situation. Everybody made a video. This is actually why yeah. <laughs> this is actually why I didn't make a video on this because it was just everybody was making video on Dr. Disrespect allegations and I was just like, uh, okay, there's nothing else I can cover that that all the other creators, the bigger creators, much bigger than me, haven't covered already. So, um, yeah, his life is ruined, very ruined. He was, um, he he like the like Internet Anarchist said that he had his own gaming company. They released him from that. Uh, tensions, probably a lot of tensions with his family and wife and kids is not good, probably. And it's just terrible. It's just terrible what it, it's terrible that he did that. And it's terrible that it's just terrible. I don't know how else to say. I, I can't say it correctly, but it's terrible. And calling out Doc for his disgusting behavior. During Penguin Zero, aka Charlie's video, he would completely destroy Doc, first addressing how he sneakily edited his tweet multiple times. Now, the Doc actually edited this statement twice. Yeah, so initially, Jesus. he posted it with the word minor in it, saying, Were there messages with an individual minor? The answer is yes. But then, shortly after he published it, he edited the word minor out of it. So he removed that. He redacted it like a fucking CIA document, trying yep. to bury it, just snapping it out of existence. So then it read, were there messages with an individual? The answer is yes. But people were quick to notice the edit. And you can actually check edit history on Twitter. Which exactly. I That's what I just said. Do, but you could clearly see that the original no longer matched the current one because he took the word minor out. So when people caught him red handed, 
he just edited it one more time to put the word minor back into it. Charlie yeah, would also that was a mis Strange mistake of the tweet, stating... He tries to close this statement with a really hard, cheesy 80s action movie one-liner. They want me to disappear. Yeah, fucking right. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. You're lucky you didn't blow the welds off the intake. I'm not leaving. It's I love really Charlie. He's great. Ridiculous to put that there with accusations like this. Finally, Charlie would counter the argument that Doc possibly didn't know the age of the minor he was talking to. Oh, okay, now, okay, okay. okay. I didn't, I didn't see this, but so this is probably gonna answer the, my question of like about did he know it was a minor? Not clear, and what a lot of people are coping with is that maybe Doctor Disrespect didn't know the age of the person he was communicating with. But I truly yeah, that's feel Charlie. if that was the case, Dr. Disrespect would have mentioned that, saying that he had those communications with this person that he believed was exactly. a but turned out to be a minor. I exactly. If uh, that makes a lot of that makes a lot of sense, and I think I mentioned it a bit briefly, but people are trying to cope with the fact that this was happening to Dr. People, big fans of Dr. Disrespect were like, uh, Maybe he didn't know it was a minor. They were trying to use that as a coping mechanism for the situation that was unfolding. But I think that, and I agree with Charlie here, is that if you if you didn't know it was a minor, you would have said that in your tweet. I didn't know it was a minor. You would have said that. But he didn't say that. Which you know, just makes him look like a lot more suspicious. It makes him look like he did know it was a minor. Because wouldn't you say, oh, I didn't know it was a minor. I honestly didn't know it was a minor. But he didn't. Why didn't he say that? Because he knew it was a minor. That's the most like, that's the most possible answer. That's the most logical answer to the question. I think if that was the reality of that situation, if he truly communicated with someone that he thought was of age but turned out to be a minor... I don't care if he did or didn't, he was still about to cheat on his wife and kids. Yeah, it's it's a shit and very unethical thing. But cheating cheating is not illegal. It's not illegal, so there's no repercussions by law. But it is very unethical and it's a shitty thing to do. But that's... It's just not illegal. What is illegal is cheating by sexting, you know, a minor. That is illegal. Is that guy Jesus? <laughs> Vinita uh, Vinit, uh, Raut on uh, Raut. Sorry if I botched that on YouTube. Thanks for uh, joining YouTube. Um, sorry if I botched your name. And uh, well, it looks like you're new. Sorry if you joined before and I didn't notice. Uh, is that guy Jesus? No, he looks like Jesus, but he's actually Charlie. Uh, a YouTuber uh, goes by the name of Penguin Z Zero on YouTube and Moist Critical on Twitch. <laughs> I think. He Let me back up a bit. Would have mentioned that, saying that he had those communications with this person that he believed was of age, but turned out to be a minor. I think if that was the reality of that situation, if he truly communicated with someone that he thought was of age, but turned out to be a minor, I think he would have mentioned that in this statement, but he didn't. He didn't say that he was under the impression he was communicating with an adult. He just says that he had conversations with an, with an individual minor. Yep. He doesn't say anything like, oh, they were actually one day away from being 18 or I really thought they were, you know, in their 20s or anything like that. And yep. I think if that was what happened, it would have been mentioned here. Yeah, I that's really what I do. said. To make matters even it worse, mentioned it. even his previous friends and defenders took a stance against him. I'm new here, randomly spotted your stream. Hey, thanks for coming, man. I appreciate you dropping by. After he admitted he was I'm, having... Oops. I'm an inappropriate Jesus. conversation Hold with on, him. I'm clicking wrong. I'm currently streaming on Twitch, by the way, too, if you want to check me out on Twitch as well. It's linked in my YouTube description. Uh, yeah, I stream Elden Ring and the Dark Souls and watch YouTube sometimes, just chatting streams. All right, All right let me uh, back this up a bit. I was just doing a little bit of introductions with you guys. All right. Took a stance against him. 
and I think if that was what happened, it would have been mentioned here. I really do. Yep, it would have been mentioned. To make matters even worse, even his previous friends and defenders took a stance against him. Oh after boy. He admitted he was having an inappropriate conversation with a minor, with Nick Merck stating, Yo, yo, checking in. I'm seeing everything on Twitter, and uh, I read through Doc's tweet and in that very tweet uh, he basically confirmed that you know he was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes you know and, and look just to, just to be blunt and straightforward man I, it, that's that's inexcusable it's exactly not right? it's not acceptable uh, no excuse for something like that ends with the act man stating no matter how you look at the situation and no matter what doc says what he did was illegal it, it isn't by no means okay to sex the minor Okay, that is absolutely illegal and ridiculous and obscene and unethical all at the same time. Oh, you don't watch Twitch. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, you can just hang out on YouTube. I stream, I dual stream on both Twitch and YouTube, so you could just choose your platform that you most, that you like the most. What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and this is my final verdict on the Dr. Disrespect situation. As you might have seen, I've been pretty vocal about this on Twitter, and Doc has finally given us the truth. At long last, we know why he was banned, and it's not good. Yep. So first, I want to read this part where he says, it's the most important part of his tweet. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. These were casual mutual conversations that sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. I've seen enough to catch a predator to know exactly using language to soften the blow. That's what I just said. To catch a predator, you have to check it out, Karota, if you get some time. But yeah, to catch a predator, Chris Hansen, check it out. To downplay what actually happened. You know, it's it's a strategy where you can admit something you did that was terrible, but you can maybe make it seem not as bad as it actually is. One question looming on everyone's mind is what is going to happen to Dr. Disrespect? Based on his response, he's planning on taking a break and returning as usual. However, only time will tell if he'll make a comeback from such disgusting and character ruining behavior. Whether he was legally charged or not, that does not change the court of public opinion. And being in your late 30s having in what happened in this video? So basically, I don't know if you know who Dr. Disrespect is, but he's a very famous and popular Twitch streamer and YouTube streamer. And uh, everybody loves him or loved him. And he was just accused of sexting a minor on the Twitch. And he's 40, by the way. And he was sexting a 17 year old minor girl on Twitch Whisper, the Twitch messaging uh, system. And he was, and then he eventually admitted to it. Um, and he also, yeah, he was, he was, he was unfaithful to his uh, wife and kids. He has a wife and kids too. Um, and there's, it's a huge, the huge drama and controversy going on right now about it. And um, everybody's covering it. And I'm just, well, I'm just reacting to this video about it. But yeah, it's not good. It's not good. What he did was illegal, and he actually admit, admitted to it on in a Twitter uh, tweet inappropriate interactions with a minor is career ending no matter how good your reputation is. I think Mudaha put it well. You know, at the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, this is just a I like Mudahar. thing to be doing. And there is no defense for this kind of behavior. And I firmly believe like as, you know, even on YouTube, like this guy shouldn't even be streaming anywhere. Like what is proven is if you are interacting in a negative fashion with anybody that is a minor, you are not to be trusted on any social media platform whatsoever. It really seems like this is the beginning of the end for Dr. Disrespect's yep. reputation and career. With new articles coming out from inside sources claiming he did know the age of the victim and was sexy Claiming that them, he did. YouTube removing him from their partner program and his YouTube channel Damn. losing over 50,000 subscribers within just Damn. days of his response going live. The more information that comes out revolving around the situation, the worse it begins to look wow. for Dr. Disrespect. Over the coming weeks, it's likely that he will lose hundreds of thousands of subscribers and possibly have one of the biggest downfalls in recent creator history, alongside Illuminati, who lost her entire audience. Click the video on screen to find out more. Wow, guys, amazing video by Internet Anarchist. Let's give him a like. And I'm, uh, whoops, I'm not, I'm gonna subscribe. Um, I thought I was already subscribed. Whoops. Uh, yeah. So give him a like and subscribe to his channel. He's amazing internet anarchist. And that was how Dr. Disrespect lost his entire audience in three days. 
and wow oh my fucking god oh, what a terrible situation guys it is actually it's absolutely awful like imagine imagine being so getting so fucking popular on twitch and youtube and everything all just to throw it down the shitter he was blatantly you know he messaged a minor it's illegal and it's not good and not okay by any means um yeah i'm just kind of speechless it's sad man it's sad because i'm not a diehard fan of dr disrespect but i have to say i did enjoy the content that it was being fed to me through the algorithm with him in it and i was like whoa this guy's pretty funny i was like this is cool and i was watching more and more of the videos and man i feel like betrayed basically i can't imagine how the diehard fans of him must must feel and people that actually subscribed on twitch and pay him money every month and donate to him imagine how they fucking feel it's it's just fucking disgusting you're right it's ridiculous anyway amazing video go check internet anarchist out